Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Configure router on a stick inter VLAN routing. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA project support or CCNA online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now back to our packet tracer activity. Here we can see our addressing table, device interface, IPv4 address, submit to mask and it's a default gateway. Coming to objectives, add VLANs to a switch, configure sub-interfaces, then test connectivity with inter-VLAN routing. Coming to the scenario, in this activity we will configure VLANs and inter-VLAN routing. We will then enable trunk interfaces and verify connectivity between VLANs. Coming to the instructions, in part 1 add VLANs to a switch. Step 1 create VLANs on S1, create VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 on S1. We will create these VLANs in S1. Coming to S1, enable Configure terminal. We will create VLAN 10 and uh, VLAN 30. Now we will verify this configuration. Now we will press Ctrl Z and here we will give the show command show VLAN brief. And here we can see the VLANs we created. It's a VLAN 10 and a VLAN 30. In step 2, assign VLANs to ports. Configure interfaces faster Thernet 0 slash 6 and faster Thernet 0 slash 11 as access ports and assign VLANs. Assign the port connected to PC1 to VLAN 10. Now coming to our topology, here we can see this PC1 is connected to the port faster Thernet 0 slash 11 in this switch S1. So we will assign VLAN 10 uh, to this port FA0 slash 11. We can do that. We will go to that interface. Configure terminal. Interface it's faster Thernet 0 slash 11. Then we will give a switch port modus access. Then a switch port access VLAN 10. Now assign the port connected to PC3 to VLAN 30. Coming to our topology here we can see this device PC3 is connected to the port uh, FA0 slash 6 in this switch S1. So here we will assign this VLAN 30 uh, to this port FA0 slash 6. Coming to S1. So we will go to that interface that is FA0 slash 6. We will exit from this interface. Then we will go to interface FA0 slash 6. We will give a switch port mode as access. Then a switch port access VLAN 30. We will issue the show VLAN brief command to verify VLAN configuration. Uh, here itself they given uh, the output for this uh, show command uh, show VLAN brief. Anyways, we will give this a show command in our switch S1. Coming to S1, here we will press Ctrl Z so that we can go to privileged exit mode. Press enter, show VLAN brief, and here we can see the details. Here we can see this port FA0 slash 11 is assigned to VLAN 10, and FA0 slash 6 is assigned to VLAN 30. In step 3, test connectivity between PC1 and PC3. From PC1, ping PC3. Were the ping successful? Why did you get this result? We will check that. We will we'll get the IP address of PC3. We will copy this address. Then coming to PC1, we will go to command prompt and we will ping to PC3. Here is its IP address.
and we get request timed out ping is failed okay now why this ping failed here because here we can see these PCs, PC1 and PC3, they are in different VLAN, that is VLAN 1 and VLAN 30. Uh, so if you want to uh, communicate different VLAN, we have to configure inter-VLAN routing. This is what we are going to do in this activity. Also, we can see uh, these PCs IP address assigned from different subnet. Here we can see PC1 is in 172.17.10.0 and the PC3 is in 172.17.30.0 in part 2 configure sub interfaces step 1 configure sub interfaces on R1 using the 802.1q encapsulation create the sub interface g0.0.10 set the encapsulation type to 802.1q and assign VLAN 10 to the sub interface then I refer to the addressing table and assign the correct IP address to the sub interface. Here they are given the commands for this uh, sub interface configuration. We have to go to that sub interface so gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10. Then we have to give the encapsulation dot 1q then the VLAN ID. Then we have to set its IP address. We will do this configuration on this router R1. Okay. So press return to get started, press enter, enable, configure terminal, we will go to the interface, it's a G0 slash 0 dot 10, then we have to give the encapsulation, it's a dot 1q, then press enter, now we have to give the VLAN ID, it's a VLAN 10, press enter, now we have to give its IP address, it's 172.17.10.1 then we have to give it submit to mask repeat for the g0 slash 0 dot 30 sub interface so coming to our addressing table here we can see the IP address given for this uh, sub interface it's 172.17.10.1 30.1 and here we can see it's a submit to mask we will exit from this uh, sub interface then we will go to interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 30 and here we will give a encapsulation it's a dot 1q then we have to specify the vlan id it's a vlan 30 okay it's a spelling mistake we can press a tab do tab so here we can see it's dot 1q 30 then we will set the ip address it's 172.17.30.1 then submit to mask next uh, step 2 uh, verify configuration Use the show IP interface brief command to verify sub interface configuration. Both sub interfaces are down. Sub interfaces are virtual interfaces that are associated with a physical interface. Therefore, in order to enable sub interfaces, you must enable the physical interface that they are associated with. Okay, here we can see this uh, link between this router R1 and S1 is down. We can see this uh, uh, light blinks red. Anyways, we'll verify using this show command show IP interface brief coming to R1. We'll press Ctrl Z and here we will give a show IP interface brief. And here we can see these two sub interfaces status administratively down, protocol down. So, as they specified, we have to uh, activate this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 to bring these sub interfaces up enable the g0 slash 0 interface verify that the sub interfaces are now active so we'll go to r1 we will go to that interface configure terminal interface g0 slash 0 then we will give no shut command
Sure, once we give that no shutdown command in physical interface so gigabit at third and zero slash zero, we can see uh, these interfaces uh, g0 slash 0 dot 10 and g0 slash 0 dot 30 changed its state to up. We will verify it. We will go to router R1 and press Ctrl Z, enter, show IP interface brief. Now here we can see the sub interfaces g0 slash 0 dot 10 and 0 30 its status up protocol also up part three test connectivity with inter vlan routing step one ping between pc1 and pc3 from pc1 ping pc3 the pings should still fail explain okay we will go to pc1 command prompt and here we will press up arrow then press enter As they say, it should fail. We can see it's failed. Why it's failed? Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, the interface uh, G0 slash 1 in this uh, switch is allow only uh, the frames which is tagged with VLAN 1. But we can see PC1 and PC3, they are in VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So here this interface G0 slash 1 should allow VLAN 10 as well as VLAN 30 so that PC1 and PC3 will communicate each other. Here we have to enable trunking uh, in this interface G0 slash 1 in this uh, switch S1 so that it will allow VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. Coming to step 2, enable trunking. On S1 issue the show VLAN command. Uh, what VLAN is G0 slash 1 assigned to? Obviously, it will be in uh, default to VLAN, that is VLAN 1. We can verify that. Coming to S1. Enable. Here we will give that show command. Show VLAN. And here we can see this interface G0 slash 1 is in default to VLAN 1. Because the router was configured with multiple sub interfaces assigned to different VLANs, the switch port connecting to the router must be configured as a trunk. So enable trunking on interface G0 slash 1. Okay, we can do that. We will go to S1, then we have to go to that interface. Configure terminal interface. It's G0 slash 1. Then we have to give a switch port mode as a trunk how can you determine that the interface is a trunk port using the show vlan command no uh, we cannot uh, verify using show vlan command we have to give a show interface trunk command so issue the show interface trunk command to verify that the interface is configured as a trunk okay we'll click on s1 then we will press ctrl z and here we will give a show interface trunk and we can verify it. Here we can see the port gigabit third zero slash one. Its status is a trunking and the mode is on. And then we can see encapsulation dot eight no two dot one q. Also we can see the native VLAN by default it's in one. And here we can see VLAN allowed and active in management domain 1, 10, and 30. Finally, step 3 test connectivity. If the configurations are correct, PC1 and PC3 should be able to ping their default gateways and each other. So, what addresses do PC1 and PC3 use as their default gateway addresses? Yes, PC1 will use its default gateway as the IP address of the interface, I mean the sub-interface G0 slash 0 dot 10 and PC will, uh, PC3 will uh, use its default gateway as uh, the IP address of its sub-interface that is uh, gigabit third 0 slash 0 dot 30. This information already uh, they given in the addressing table. Here we can see that 
PC1, uh, we can see it's a default gateway 172.17.10.1. And we can see that IP address is assigned to the sub-interface G0.0.10 in this uh, device R1. Also, we can see PC2 default gateway 172.17.30.1. And here we can see that IP address which is assigned to the interface G0.0.30. Okay, we will uh, test the connectivity. We will ping from PC1 to PC3 first. Click on PC1 command prompt. Then press up arrow so that we will get the uh, IP address of uh, PC3. Uh, then press enter. We are waiting for the replies. We may get one request timed out. And here we can see it's working. We get the replies. Once more, we can try it. Press up arrow so that we will get all the replies. Now we can try to its uh, gateways. I mean, the default uh, gateways. We will uh, try to ping to uh, 30.1 and here we can see we get the replies. Even we will uh, try to ping to 10.1 and here we can see we get the replies. Okay, right. So, friends, in this video, we discussed packet tracer activity, configure a router on a stick, inter VLAN routing, and here we can see our completion status it's 100%. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And if you like to get any technical support, you can contact us using our website. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.